This is the Tramex CME4, otherwise known as the Concrete Moisture Encounter Plus. You'll see it's a pretty basic meter. There's an on-off button. Again, we'll go ahead and flip that off. When it's uh, on, the light actually comes on. You'll see to the right that there's actually a hold button. So as I'm taking readings, I can actually select the hold button and it would dial in on that reading if I wanted to store it. Again, you'll see the needle has uh, stopped. To remove the hold button, it's just a simple push of the button, and again, it's ready for the next reading. When we look on the scale, you're going to see that there are essentially two scales on the CME4. The top scale is a 0 to 6%, and that is a concrete scale specifically for percentage of moisture. So it's a 0 to 6% scale moisture content. As we look at the bottom scale, the bottom scale would be used for gypsum floor screeds, for dealing with a gypcrete or some other material other than true concrete, we would be using the bottom scale. You'll see on the bottom scale that it's a 0 to 100% point scale. What we're going to do next is we're actually going to uh, flip to the back side of the CME4, and you'll notice on the back that it has a series of pads, these two independent pads, and you're going to see these little gold tips. These gold tips are actually recessed, so when we set it to the material, we're actually going to be setting the tool down, and as we push down, all of these little sensors become depressed, and then it'll allow us to get a numerical value or reading on the display. So we're going to set it on our concrete slab, and again, just sitting on the slab right now, we're not actually getting a, uh, a value. Again, the reminder is when you uh, set it down, you need to grab the tool, and push down so that the uh, back tabs are depressed. Now that we have it depressed, we can see that we're roughly 1.8% uh, H2O in the concrete. Certainly it makes sense to uh, take multiple readings on your concrete slab to look for consistencies around different areas where you may be setting building materials in place. Again, once you've taken the reading and you depress down, should you want to uh, hold that reading, by simply pressing the hold button. Again, it will store that reading as I lift up. Again, you can see I'm roughly 1.8% H2O in this measurement of the concrete slab.